All right, hunters, y'all asked for it, so let's do it. A quick way to get out of Brokesville and make some extra money. 273 bucks a day is exactly $100,000 a year. Let's throw in an extra thousand for good hygiene, you dirty mother. Let's go have some fun. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how you can get to $273 a day using stuff like ChatGPT. This is cutting edge. Nobody's doing this. You need to do it now. And I think if you're making less than 100 grand a year, you'd be a fool to click off this video. I promise I'll make it worth it and I'll try to make it very short. By the way, I'm giving another $100 to somebody who likes, subscribes, and leaves a comment down below in this video. So make sure to do that. And I announce the winners over on my Instagram. So the first thing you're going to do is open a ChatGPT account. It's free to do. And the company OpenAI is actually losing $3 million a day because of all the messages back and forth. When you interact with the AI, it costs money. So open an account there, and then we're gonna go to freelance sites like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com, and you're gonna make five to 10 listings on each of these for the same services. Now, don't worry, these aren't skills you actually have to have because ChatGPT can do it for you. So here's an example of what one of those would look like. Offering email marketing services, which I'll show you how to do in about two seconds. So you can do that and sell these services. You can instantly be an expert without actually having to become an expert. Now understand something, when you're starting a business, you're gonna be underpaid before you can get overpaid. For the last couple of years, I've been overpaid for the amount of hours I put in, but there was years where I wasn't making money and things were very tough. You can do it a lot faster. I promise you that. So the goal here is to price way below everyone else. So you'll see I posted it at $10 for email marketing services. Just to give you a perspective, I pay about five grand a month for real email marketing services from a company I work with. So it's very cheap to go list this. Companies can buy it. You're going to try and just get your rating boosted up. Offer your services in one day. Do it quickly. Deliver even faster. Have great communication. You're going to be able to rate raise your prices as your ratings go up. Now, this won't make you a billionaire, but an extra 100 to 200 grand a year is totally realistic. And the step two part of this is to go ahead and hire a virtual assistant once money is coming in, because it will come in for about 700 bucks a month. That's what it costs to get a full-time eight hour a day employee from somewhere like Thailand or the Philippines. And you're going to have them manage all of these listings, do the communication and eventually do the work for you. So we're going to tell ChatGPT to write an abandoned cart email for a friendship bracelet or insert your product here, right? It doesn't matter what it is. They're going to be able to write an exact copy paste script. They usually include discounts that you're going to have to make active on your store. It's ridiculous. But the cool thing is you don't have to just take it at face value. And I actually recommend you don't. If you want a really, really good one, you could say, make it funnier, right? You can interact with this tool and use it and you can craft it depending on what you want your brand to be or what your client's goal is. You can give them multiple options. The cool thing is it doesn't take you 40 minutes to write this. It takes one second and then you might modify it for a few minutes, but it's very quick to do. And look, it said, did the bracelet break your heart and you had to run away from it? Or did you just forget it was there because you were too busy being the world's best friend? Pretty funny, right? They can do different things. They can make it shorter, make it funnier, make it, you know, whatever. Anything you can imagine, this tool can pretty much do. Now, quick rule of thumb, take whatever the average price is that people are selling that service for and just discount it by about 75%. You want to be aggressive here. Ah, all right, we're about to get good. Let's go. All right, the second one I'm going to show you is fun. It's the reason I have like six phones somewhere and multiple laptops because I get busy, busy with it. All right, I've been doing this for seven years and that is e-commerce, but I would have made double the money I've made if I had this tool because it makes the process so simple. It doesn't do the whole thing, but it does a lot. I've done over $20 million in sales with e-commerce that started as dropshipping because I didn't have a lot of money. The biggest rebuttal I get, everybody's like, oh my God, Hayden, dropshipping doesn't work. You, sir, are a fool. Dropshipping is simply a model of fulfilling the product. It means you don't buy the inventory in advance. Surprise, surprise, when a 16-year-old kid, right, back in the day, starts an e-commerce store. I didn't have a lot of money. It just wasn't, it wasn't a thing. Got like 200 bucks for mowing lawns, right? So for me, I had to go the creative route which means I had to drop ship. I'm not gonna buy inventory, it's also a huge risk to do that, but you can still drop ship with five, six, seven day fulfillment. Inside of our e-commerce course, and we've had over 3,000 business owners go through our trainings at e-com season, we give the supplier resources that you can use to drop ship effectively. So that's just the fulfillment, but let's talk about how to use ChatGPT to make hundreds of dollars a day, which is really not that difficult. All right, let's ask it to give me 10 online store names for friendship bracelets. We're just gonna roll with that example. I've never sold them, maybe it's something cool. BFFbracelets.com, Together Forever Jewelry, wrist bond. So awesome. First of all, let's just start. Like I used to sit and ponder these for days and boom, it's done. Don't like it, right? Give me 20 more. They're going to be able to come up with every variation under the sun, make it funnier, shorter, different, whatever. And you're going to want to make sure the domain is available. So you go over to GoDaddy or in Shopify, you can buy the domain through there and you're just going to go check these out if it's one you like. So that's checklist number one. They're going to be able to do that for you. The name is complete. And just a quick tip, you probably want to do that after you find your product, of course, so it makes sense relating to it. So that's something you will have to do on your own, but so does everybody. All right. Who is the type of person that buys a friendship bracelet? That's the second thing we're going to ask because this will help us identify where we're going to do our 
marketing and who our customer is. Friendship bracelets are often popular among people of all ages, but they're particularly popular young people and children. Okay, that probably means like 25 and under. Okay, where am I going to go to target those people? It's not going to be Facebook. It's not going to be LinkedIn, Twitter, maybe, but probably not. Snapchat, difficult to reach with their ad platform. That means we're going to TikTok. TikTok ads is fun. Now, I've made way more money on Facebook and Instagram because it's just been around longer. We've done about 20 something million dollars in gross sales, but on TikTok, a couple million bucks. It's been really, really successful. A uh, little bit of variable change there, but it's easy to reach younger people, which is huge. Using this, you can now take this information, which you have, and you're going to go start running ads. It just that points you in the right direction. All right. So let's say write a Facebook ad for a friendship bracelet. Let's just say you were writing Facebook ads. Okay. They're going to give you something. I almost always have to say, make it shorter because I'm a fan of, of shorter ads on, uh, on Facebook. I think it, it just punches a little bit better. But the cool thing is you can take that same approach on TikTok. You're going to want shorter ads on TikTok because you don't have as much room in your description. So you want to be very simple on how you're going to approach it. Celebrating your friendship with our handmade bracelets. Perfect for any BFF. These high quality pieces are the perfect way to show your appreciation. Order yours today and let your bond shine. So again, they can do all sorts of different stuff. It's incredible. Incredible. I used to have to sit and like, this isn't perfect. I would be modifying this and you'll learn about that in whatever courses and stuff you go through. We have a great one, very, very expansive, goes through a lot of stuff. It's very cheap. You find that linked below, but you're going to have to build off of that. I used to have to create all this stuff from scratch. You know how hard it is to come up with ideas? Like when I was running 26 different e-commerce stores at once, yes, I had two other partners and four employees in an office. That's a lot of shit. Like it gets difficult. So using tools like this, very, very good. And then as soon as you start running ads, you know, obviously you go through wherever you're learning your ads from. Like we start with $100 a day budgets on TikTok. It's going to immediately be producing two to $400 a day in revenue. Probably not a lot of profit, but as you figure out your target audience, things optimize, your pixel builds data, right? Which is all in the weeds stuff that you're going to have to learn. You're going to start making money. It's not that difficult as long as you have a good product. People just love to overcomplicate stuff to keep beginners out. It's not hard. And of course, you're going to need videos, which you can either order the product and shoot it yourself or hire somebody else to do it, send it to a third party service like viral e-com ads. That's great. There's a lot of stuff and different options out there. We go through all the resources, not going to dive into specifics, but if you're doing hundred thousand dollars a year in revenue with an e-commerce business, which I have never had a store that is a good product that does that low, like it's actually difficult to stay at just $300 a day. It, like it would truly be hard to do that. It's easier to make more money. I, I promise you that, but a hundred grand is going to be about 20 to 25 grand in profit. There's a wide difference there. It's not all profit. So when I say 10, like 13 million bucks for my one brand, right? Just, just one brand that I had $13 million in sales. That's not 13 million in profit. That's a few million in profit divvied up two ways because I had a partner, right? So it, it's still good money, but that's why you have to scale. But 25 grand a year, not a bad side hustle. I get an average of 20 to 30% margin. Now, let me ask you this. If you have an e-commerce store that's working really well, you went through a couple of trainings, everything's like finally getting going. It takes a little bit of time, but if you go from hundred to 200 to 400,000 at a 25% margin, that's a hundred grand a year. That's the 273 a day we were talking about. How much would that change your life? Would you quit your job? Like what, what would that do? I mean, I remember where my first hundred grand came from and it was like just mind blowing. It was selling stupid dog phone cases and it just, it worked right. And it just, it changed my life. It allowed me, and it was more than a hundred grand a year. I was on pace for a couple hundred thousand through that, but it allowed me to move to California. I bought my dream car to my first BMW and I wasn't worried about money, right? Money was no longer the single biggest thing that was driving me. I was still, of course, driving for more, just starting my career, but I was able to make different decisions because the money wasn't urgent. It was no longer from a place of need. And that's very powerful. So that's why I'm so stoked on e-commerce. That's why I wanted to mention it for you. Again, we got that course linked down below. It's still a viable option. You can still drop ship, but let's jump into the bonus speed round for you. So ChatGPT is a product of OpenAI, a San Francisco based company that again is losing about the reported $3 million a day right now, just from people using this platform. But I think it's worth it. They're amassing so much market share and a lot of eyeballs. It can also debug code. And a lot of people are using this who are students for essays, right? Plagiarism stuff. And funny fact for you, you can actually use this to write an essay for you. you can say, write me an essay about Moby Dick in the style of insert your writer here, which is crazy. And if you want to avoid the plagiarism stuff, just go use something like Quillbot and rephrase certain parts of it. Reportedly, right? Hypothetically, not saying to do it. Now for educational purposes only, literally. Now there's a teacher who posted on Reddit saying that a student cheated, but they have no proof. They talked about this like D plus student who was never very good, took a test outside the class and just did insanely well in a very short amount of time. Now I'm not for someone cheating, but I am all for education reform. I think the education system is completely screwed up. So it's fun to see something like this, just, just jostling things around, right? Maybe it'll ruffle some feathers, but that was uh, from a long newsletter called Synthetic Mind. It's one of the free ones I follow in AI. 
AI, it's by far the best. I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out. But now what happens if things change, right? Maybe you're fulfilling services. You got a business going. You're up to $40,000 a year, a little side hustle. That's great. But if things change and you can't fulfill there, understand that there's always going to be tools like this. And whether it's free or paid, it doesn't matter because you can make money with it. But there's going to be stuff that evolves. And ChatGPT is the smallest free trial beta version of the tip of the iceberg that probably sank the Titanic. Like it is, it's, we haven't seen anything in the AI world really come to use yet. And that's what I'm excited for because I think it's going to be way bigger than this. I think movies can be automated, YouTube videos like this. It can be a fake person, fake voice, fake script, everything automated, the whole thing. And it will be perfect and impeccable. It might even have jokes as bad as mine. But I know a lot of people are worried about the job side of things like contract lawyers and stuff that are, their jobs might get taken away. Sure, you can automate some things. I don't think you'll ever be able to do it fully or as good. Like it's good to have that personal touch. But nonetheless, just like switchboard operators back in the day when you'd call a phone, you got to get connected to someone. Yeah, those jobs went away. And guess what? New jobs get created. It happens. It might take some time, but it happens. We'll be fine. Take solace in that. So with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of work into it. It'd mean a lot to me if you like and subscribe. Again, I'm doing some giveaways for people who comment down below in this one, 100 bucks cash to somebody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.